Ruth here, and this is my opening video. Uh, Hello, cute. By Sarah Nick Clark. I do enjoy watching her YouTube videos as well. Um, so it's got up in here, Color Cube Volume 1 and 2 on either side. And on the back, it has the skew code there, as well as her socials. Jeez. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, TikTok, and X. All of it's the same. Designed in Australia, made in China. Color Cube, copyright 2023. The Creative Couple, PTY Limited, All Rise Reserve. Those will be the whole thing. So, it took a while to open it because I had other things to do, but this is going up probably in September or October, but this I'm currently opening it and it's still July. Not much left in July, but it's still July. So I got this, as you know, from Mom, as a birthday present. So it's got some nice thick styrofoam thing with this little mini packing peanuts type, but like this thick stuff, which is good because I can I can use this. Probably shouldn't need to. I already have the thing over there. But anyway, awesome. So it's got this one. And this one, obviously. So let's just get them out. Comes like this. It's got uh, shrink wrapped all over, you know. And let's see, the lid is up here, so I'll keep the side up. You know, got all the colors. You know, like a Rubik's cube, but all the squares are different. So, I need to be very careful of opening a good place to open this place maybe Open this one quicker than the other one. <laughs> Cycling box. And so let's lift up. It's got the number one here. So I think this. There's a place for them to. It's only one sticker. Let's go back down. There you go. 
So none the one. Just the one sticker it seems. We'll put it on this one. Yeah. On this side. Because I want the lid to be upwards. I mean... Now that I think about it, if I put it white on white, I don't even see anything white. <laughs> That's not a good thing. I mean, I put it on the black, put it on the blue. It's got the lid on this side, so... Hmm. But if I do it like this... Like this... We'll have... Dark blue on the other side. Should I put it on the side or put it in the middle? <laughs> oh, decisions. I was thinking actually, I should put it on the side because if I stack them, I won't be able to see the number on top anyway. Hmm. Huh. There's a lot. Okay, number one is red. And number two. Shall be on this side. So it's not gonna be yellow. And it could be red again. Pink. Or black it is. Since they're two favorite colors, but technically black is a shade right now. Okay. Cube, right? So it's complete same distance. I'm gonna move them over because I'm I didn't think about the inside when I uh Yeah. I'm gonna put it over because I'm I'm just like that. It doesn't fit that way. Huh. It doesn't fit that way. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll just have to... I guess those sides are thicker. That way. Take it off and put it on green, yeah. 
No, it is not even either. This one in line that didn't close the back. This is the front beyond a dark gray. Let's put it back the right way. be green. Okay, so well, let's try this one first. So we got an instructions card. <laughs> Using a color palette. Color palettes can be used for so many creative projects, and there are no specific rules on how to use them. You can use as few or as many colors as you like. You can use them strictly as a limited palette, or you can use them as a starting point and add your own colors to expand the palette a further. The purpose of these palettes is to provide inspiration and to help reduce the creati creative block that comes in the process of choosing colors so you can focus on the rest of your creative process with more confidence. How to match colors. The colors on the back of each card are printed to the edge so you can place them right up against your media to match the colors as closely as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect for your final result to look good, so don't worry if you don't have a scientific level of color matching skills. Experts. If you're des designing a computer or on a computer or tablet, you can use the hex codes to provide, provided to grab a better color match from these palettes. These numbers aren't usually used for print or physical media. They can be useful in helping to find an initial match for some brands of paints or pencils if you find an online tool with this information. In this in these cases, I would still recommend doing the final match by eye. Tints and shades. Each card also includes a 20% tint and 20% shade of each color. These can help you visualize the darker, lighter, and lighter variations if you want to expand your color range or include highlights and shadows in your artwork. These are just a guide. Color names. The color names provided are an approximate description of each color as categorized in the color catalog. There are over 1,000 color categories included, but you may find the same color listed twice for slightly different colors where those colors were best categorized together. As there is no universal naming system for colors, please use these names as a reference only and do not rely on them for accurate printing or color matching. Appearance of colors. Please note that due to the differences in how colors appear on screen and in print, 
colors may appear differently on these colors to the digital color catalog and to any digital art you may create with the hex codes provided. Share your art. Use the hashtag color group and the color catalog to share what you've created with the color palettes. You can also tag Sarah Renee Clark and the color catalog. Connect with Sarah at Sarah Renee Clark, Sarah Renee Clark .com, as I said earlier in the video. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, and yes, on the nose for um, I already read the uh, copyright thing on the box, so I don't really need you to do uh, All photos and using the color palettes are licensed by the original photographers. Hmm. So, this is a nice one. So that's like what's in the camera, the palette there. And we've got the 20% highlight and shade, or tint and shade, I think it was. Is it? Then color name, sorry, description, and the hex codes there. So you can just put it up against whatever. For instance, I guess. That's close. Hunter Green. Put the one on the box slightly darker. Yeah, so you can swatch it like so. So, for instance, I don't know. Close. The thing goes close, but not so bad. Anyway. Well, you color cube one, one to two hundred and fifty. That's a nice blue, nice blue palette there, or snow. Okay, so color cube number two, volume two. You have the same instructions on the front. Same instruction card because obviously if you just get one or the other, you don't need the instructions how to use it anyway. Not some nice fall colors there, isn't it? Carry on to uh, card number 251 and ending in card 500. Is there more? Wait, what? That's 251. 250. So there's more in volume 2. Two. 250. 350. 450. So 300 and some in here. And 250 here. So there's more. I can't actually tell the difference. There's more in volume 2. 1 to 250, 251 to 500. Huh. Anyway, yes. So, this should be fun. And here, just randomly. Pick in here and get out a palette to use. Ooh. That's a nice sunset one. Anyway. That is the opening of the color cubes. And I don't know where to put them at. <laughs> Luckily, for space wise, I can stack them like that. Anyway, 
Well, thank you for watching. Over and out.